was that? Kids, do you know what an earthquake is? Have you ever thought what causes it and how you can keep yourself safe during an earthquake? If no, let us discuss in today's video which is all about earthquakes. Imagine that you are sitting on a table and suddenly the floor begins to shake and the things that are on the table begin to fall. This is due to an earthquake. Thus, an instant shaking of the ground caused by the passing of seismic waves through the earth's rocks is known as an earthquake. An earthquake takes place when the two blocks of the earth suddenly slip past one another. The surface where these two blocks slip is called a fault place. The place below the earth's surface where the earthquake starts is called the hypocenter and the place that is on the surface of the earth is called the epicenter. Sometimes an earthquake has four shocks known as smaller earthquakes and it happens in the same place before a larger earthquake occurs. The largest main earthquake is called the main shocks which are always followed by aftershocks that occur in the same place and it can continue for weeks, months and even years after the main shock. The surface of the earth is like a jigsaw puzzle. Yes, the earth is not a single piece of land but approximately 20 pieces of a puzzle that constantly move. But we cannot feel it because they move quite slowly. Each one of those puzzle pieces is called tectonic plates. So whenever those plates hit another plate, an earthquake is caused. The surface where these plates slip is called the fault or the fault plane. Depending on plate movements, earthquakes are of three types. During an earthquake, a convergent boundary is defined as the condition in which one plate is forced over another plate, which causes a thrust fault. Several hills and mountains have been formed due to the convergent boundary. A divergent boundary is defined as when the plates are drifted apart from forming a rift zone. As a result, it gives birth to new ocean flows. Transform fault is defined as the condition in which the plates slip by each other. This is also called strike slip. For studying earthquakes, scientists use an instrument known as a seismograph or seismometer which is used to measure and record seismic waves that move through the earth as the result of an earthquake. An earthquake is a petrifying event, but by taking specific safety measures, we can protect ourselves from an earthquake, which are drop down onto your hands and knees, cover your head and neck and hold on. Stay indoors until the shaking stops. Do not stand in a doorway. Look out for some tables. If you are outside, then find a clear spot to stay safe. If you are riding or moving in a vehicle, stop as quickly and safely as possible. Be prepared for aftershocks. Do not enter into a damaged building. Turn off the gas, electricity and water. To watch more educational videos, hit the bell icon. Don't forget to like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.